basically play these wizards or who are on a quest. And there's these goblins that are basically carrying a bag of these bombs, and like if you make a fire spell, <laughs> the guy goes kaboom. Ooh. That sounds like Overlord. No, it wasn't Overlord, and somebody got you good and behind. Yep, it's taking a second to reload everything. Uh, I'm just trying to remember the proper name of the game, but I know it, it's the one where it's like you're playing like these wizards. You have basically the headmaster who. Supposedly his name is Vlad, but apparently he's not a vampire. You know he is. Supposedly. So he's trying to basically appeal to the fact that. Uh, if he does, if he let, if we let him kill him, he's putting us out of our misery, technically. But there's a few reasons why that doesn't work. Because, yeah, sure you can kill us, but we're we're still an individual now. Also, this reminds me of stuff to do with orphans and things. Thank you. Rosie got out of the way. She knew what to do. Get back in your corner, Rosie. Huh. Uh, okay. We were in here. This is where we died. So there's a person here that tried to kill us. There you are. Revenge kill. Yeah, so she just points out that they hang vagrants in Rapture. Oh, where are you going? Vagrants. Because we're a vagrant. Uh. Because most of the splicers are, in some capacity, crazy. Uh, because all the people that weren't making money in Rapture left. You know, all the poor people, etc., left. Uh huh. And because all the poor people left, everything started going to, you know. Heck. It's part of the reason why everything looks so run down. Because there's no people maintaining it. Yeah, that would be a problem. Turns out, when you don't pay people sustainable living wages, and you tell them to basically undercut each other and underbid each other, everything doesn't, you know, suddenly become a utopian paradise where everyone's in some sort of system working to as a collaborative collective improve. Instead people try and make money. It's almost like a capitalistic system needs checks and balances. Because raw capitalism is not well it's not biased, yeah. But because it's not biased, it also has uh, uh, it has its own bias. It's non-biased is its own bias in a way. There's also another bias. Blah blah blah. Capitalism, <laughs> economics. Um, because capitalism is biased to people that already have money. But that's a grand scheme thing because there are ways to get around that, etc. And that's where the fact that the bias exists but can also be challenged comes from. And there's so much to it. Uh-huh. 
Yep. Okay, come on. There we go. Nope. Nope. Okay. Okay. Wish we had a sprinting jump. Okay. There we go. We have glowing bits on our guns. That means they do more damage. That's what it translates to. Oh, hey, a Fontaine's breakup. Looks like things have gone Break up with who? Why a guy like Fontaine would waste his time with that ugly crowd when he could be getting the gravy from any dish he chooses is beyond the understanding of this paparazzi. Even reset the door code to 5744. Maybe to be double sure that Depo don't sprout up in his yard again. Oh, we now have the code to get into Fontaine's lab. Five seven four four. I seen she had a blanket half knitted by her bed. It's a reference to something. Black and red, real pretty. Probably not. So I took it so I could, you know, four have somebody finish it. So it's four seven fourteen. Or no, five seven four four. Yeah. I'm gonna hack this health station so it doesn't betray us later on. Wow, I can kill a thuggish slicer with three swings of the wrench, even without the stun at kill. My home, torn apart by Fontaine and his pigs. No doubt he had the samples of Lot 192 taken to his penthouse. Oh yeah, this is Fontaine's. The, lobby, the damn thing is always locked. You will not believe me, but there was a time when this place was also beautiful. See, and I think Tenable may be right. I think Rapture at some point was beautiful, but I think. Ryan's dream made it so it would always corrupt, but also that's just rude, guys. That's really rude. You you don't insult Tenenbaum. Like, she's not those things. Like one, she isn't sleeping around and being paid for it. She's being paid to do science. If you want to call her or something, you can call her something, but she's not that. Yeah, I, I know I don't want my real memories, Fontaine. I am aware you have mind raped me and made me into a murder machine. I'm fully aware of the fact that I do not want my actual memories. But I'm going to tell you something. I still kind of got to oppose you because you're the reason I'm here in the first place. No offense, Fontaine, but you brought this on yourself. Oh. Hey. What the? You're worthless. You're nothing. And then the game lags out. Oh yeah, I forgot that enemies can trip in this game. That's a nice little feature. And they can do dodge rolls and things. But we can't do those sort of things. But they can. So we need lot 1990 uh, because it's the cure to our thing. And Su Chong basically put it into us in case Fontaine ever tried to betray him. As a way to basically be like, I'll free you if you, you know, help me. So don't kill me and I'll give you your freedom, basically. Yep. Oh, 
Okay. The way to save one life is to save the world entire. I made a place for the children here. But this is you who are their savior. Will you stop here? Or will you deliver them from this terrible city at long last? Where is that last? Oh, are you still looking for another little sister? No, uh, no, I'm just trying to shoot this guy with the crossbow. Because I have the crossbow and I'm trying to make use of it. Because I'm pretty sure it is the worst gun in the game, but I still want to try and use it. Hmm. Because, well, I, I like crossbows. The rebar crossbow is my favorite gun in Half-Life. Oh, yeah. Now, was that in the second game? Even though I think they had one in the first one, too, didn't they? Just a different variation? Uh, no, they didn't have the rebar crossbow. They had some kind of crossbow. Uh, possibly. I think it was for one of the underwater segments. Yeah, there's a lot of little things hidden around in that game. Oh, what, what's shooting at me? Robot! Robot friend! You're not my friend! Murder! Oh, there we go! And someone joined us! Hey, James! How are you? Doing? I just realized. I just realized I have no. I have no. I have no plastic. Oh really? Oh, uh, that's good. What the? Oh, there we go. Oh. I found. I found the problem. There's a. There's yeah, a security we got another caller. Uh, yeah. Who joined us besides you, James? Just me. No, just James. Oh wait a second. I think that was just the. I think that was probably the Twitch from five seconds in the past playing from the Twitch. Bill. What you playing? Bioshock. Keep your Bioshock. What the heck? Why can't I shoot this? Ugh, crap. Camera. Well, I'm tired. Yeah. I guess I must be getting close to that time. It is getting good that time, yeah. I'm not tired because I took a nap. Oh, time to play Gary's Mod. Gary's Mod? Yeah, I'm playing Gmod. My mic's not working, so... Are you not on Not on Gmod, no, it's not. Well, you don't need a mic on Gmod to be able to talk to people. You just need to be able to, you know, scream traitor, 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 and set that guy on fire. Hey, can you still hear me? Yeah, we can hear you perfectly. Yeah. Really? Yeah, you're fine. Yep. I don't know. Uh, do you guys remember at one point, there was one of my friends that actually roleplayed on a couple of Gmod servers? Or more or less, they were basically playing a hobo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Star Wars one. Mm-hmm. Yep. And now we're here in Fontaine's house. The one place in Rapture besides technically Ryan's place that isn't utterly trashed. It's still pretty bad. Oh, Hi, James. Well, you know, audience. They come, they go. What do we pick Anyways. up? 
So any shinies we can take in here? <laughs> so Ryan so Ryan doesn't talk to us like he's our dad. But Fontaine at one point starts going about how we're technically his dad. He's technically our dad. I'm like, I mean, if you want to push the definition, yes. You're our... Adopted abusive stepfather. Yeah. Hey, a starfish. Yeah, they're all... I love it. They just cling to these side and you can sometimes see them. Oh, wait, no. We've already, we've already maxed out our research with camera. <laughs> and so we've basically done most of our research and we have two drones following us around right now. So we actually can get up to two, it seems. Well, that's good. I think we may have been a research upgrade we got. So we can almost become a um, part of the Mechanicus then. We, we have. We are heavily modified. Um, increased super being, with you know robotic weapons that are highly advanced for our time period and. just so many other things going for us. So no, no, we are the Mechanicus. Also this is over here, Lot 192 we can pick up. And there's Electric Flesh. I know. Well, I think you're missing our cyber arms on your back. And man, you are missing that wire hard. Oh, there you go. Yep. Anyways, Electric Flesh makes it so we take less damage from electricity and we deal more damage. To enemies with it. Uh, we're getting to the point that we're gonna not need photographer's eye soon. Uh, right. We're gonna store electric flesh in gene bank. Ooh, okay, there we go. We got a little crossbow. We'll pick up 192 in a second because I just want to make sure that we're good here before leaving Fonte. Means place. I thought he had a power to the people station in here or something. Crazy. We can turn on his sink. His bathroom isn't looking that great. Wouldn't we surprised? Uh, kinda. You'd expect he would take better care of his place. I love the frosty glass he's got though. Anyways, we're gonna take one nine two. Mm -hmm. Anyways, yeah, this is weird. Yes. The compound is taking off. Oh, what room are we in now? The effects of the mental suggestion are now gone. But there will certainly yeah. be side effects. We're drunk out of our mind. So basically what this does is it randomly will swap us over to plasmids. Here we go, it's gonna explain that. Now Lot not is would cause some side effects. Your plasmas become unstable and you're temporarily unable to choose which one you have equipped. So basically when we swap to our plasmids, it's going to be a random plasmid. And this was in Fonte's room. And we need to get another dosage of 192 to remove the effects of the random plasmids. There, no doubt there will be more of this one, 192. Because we need it to... Also, we'll randomly swap us to our plasmids. So that's the entire gimmick of this area. Swapping back and forth between the two. Right. Our robots are kicking butt. Charge you by the minute, eh? Yeah. Anyways, that's a good point. Uh, in this video, we're coming close to an end of this recording session. Oh, cool, we got the decoy. We don't have this power yet. Watch what it does. Decoy. Oh, that's the one where you make a clone of yourself, right? Yep. Target dummies, what it's called, actually.